welcome back to another Move Well class. I'm Molly, I'm your PT, your yoga teacher, your movement enthusiast. So today's class is between 10 and 20 minutes, designed to make you feel good, to open up through your body, to engage through your muscles. Perfect for first thing in the morning, pre-post workout, pre-post travel, whatever you need to use it for. It'll be a combination of yoga, some active postures, active mobility, um, fascial stretches, and core work. So grab your mat and we'll get started. Today's class is heavily based around a downward facing dog. So definitely some more yoga in this class compared to some others. So meet me in downward facing dog. Stretch your arms in front of you. Put your weight between your index and your thumb finger. And then stay long through the sides of your waist. Let that length translate all the way down the length of your spine. So keep plenty of bend in your knees if you need to avoid really crunching underneath you. Close your eyes and we'll take five breaths here to prepare. As you open up more, maybe you're able to melt your heels closer to the mat, but that's not really the end goal here. Big inhales and exhales. Just to root us into this moment for the next 15 minutes or so. Good. Open your eyes if they were closed. On your next breath in, reach your heels off the mat. Roll forward through your spine. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. And then hover your hips off the mat. Come to a floating dog if this is possible for you. If not, lower all the way down and untuck your toes to a high cobra. And we'll spend five breaths here. So engaging the glutes, curling the sit bone underneath you, and then reaching up and forward through the chest. Press back through your heels and hug your inner thighs together. For two more. Good, tuck your chin, roll all the way back. Dog or facing dog. One breath per movement, inhale, ripple forward from down dog all the way to your floating dog, unfurling your spine, lifting your head. And then exhale, tuck your chin, round through upper back, press all the way to down dog. Three more, inhale. Ride the length of the breath and exhale. Two more, ripple forward all the way to plank and then floating dog. Exhale, tuck your chin, press the ground away, hips reach high. Last one here. We all meet up in down dog. And then I want you to think about rolling your biceps forward, wrapping your outer armpits down. And we're gonna find some bounces here. So reaching your chest back towards your ankles, pushing through your shoulders, Opening up through your lats, through your shoulders, taking about a second for a pulse. Good, five more. Keep your elbows nice and straight. Perfect. And then roll forward to your floating dog. See if you can create pulses here. So retuck your toes, press your heels back, and you're gonna reach your pelvis through your palms. Definitely a thrusting type motion, but let's open up through the front body now. So try to come into these pulses. Hips are reaching forward towards your thumbs. Glutes are engaged. If you have any low back pain, please avoid this. Let's do 10 more. Definitely a good arm workout as well. Three, two, one, good, downward facing dog. Walk your feet to the top of the mat. To Uttanasana forward fold. And then we're gonna move through what I like to call a folded bow and arrow. So turn your right toes out, hands clasp in the middle on the inner seam of your foot. And then we're gonna kind of pull a bow and arrow with our left uh, elbow. So reaching it up towards the sky, slight bend in both knees. And exhale back down. Left toes point out, right toes point forward. Inhale, hands meet in the middle, and then right elbow pulls that bow and arrow up towards the sky. Exhale back down. 
On your next breath in, halfway left fingertips to the ground or to your shins. And then exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, three-legged dog, reach your right heel high. And then exhale, place your right knee in the center of the mat. Kick, stand your right foot out and swivel down onto the left heel, finding a modified side plank. Right hand is rooted down, blade edge of left foot is rooted down. And let's take some big circles through your left arm. Three or four in one direction. Good, and then let's switch. Perfect, tuck both toes, reach your hips high down, facing dog. This time lift your left heel up, and then plant your left knee in the center of the mat, swivel right heel down, modified side plank, rooting through the left thumb this time. Reach your right fingertips high, and then three or four circles in each direction. Good, switch. Perfect, plant both hands. Tuck all 10 toes, downward facing dog. And then inhale, sweep right leg high, bend your knee, open your hip. Keep your right shoulder squared down, and then take some big ankle and knee hip circles here. Let's do three direction, this direction. Good, now switch it up. Planting down through the left heel. Good, right toes plant. Inhale, left heel stretches high. Bend your knee, open your hip, square your left shoulder down, and then roll out the angle, the hip, whatever feels good. Switch directions. Find some rotation in your hip, nice. Good, now find 10 bounces here. Chest down towards your knees. Opening out through your shoulders, five more. Perfect, walk your feet to the top of the mat as fast or slow as you want. Uttanasana, forward fold. Folded bone arrow, right toes out to the side, bend into your knees and then pull left elbow up towards the ceiling. Feel this a ton in the left side body, good. Exhale back down. Right toes forward, left toes out to the side. Inhale, right elbow up towards the sky. Peel your chest open. And exhale down. Halfway lift with the in-breath, flat back. Gaze is long. And exhale, plant your hands, step back. Downward facing dog. Bring your feet out wider than your hips. Walk your hands in slightly. And then plant through the right hand. Twist your left hand to the outside of the right leg somewhere. Take breath in to grow long through your spine. And then on your out breath, really twist open to the right, looking underneath your right shoulder. Running down through both heels. Flicking your tailbone up towards the sky for three breaths. Switch sides, left hand plants, right hand to the outside of the left leg. Stay here for the inhale, and then exhale, twist open. For three more breaths. Good. Plant both hands. Roll your spine forward. Come to your floating dog. 10 bounces here. Letting the front side of the body open up. I'm using that rebound to pull you back. Couple more. Good. Now plant through the left toes. See if you can lift the right toes off the mat. Hold. Hug in your thighs together and engage through your glutes. Good. Release it down. Plant through the ball of the right foot. Inhale, lift, left toes up. Chest is shooting through your shoulders. Good. Downward facing dog. And then walk your way to the top of the mat. Let's give those arms a little break. Right toes point out to the side. Bend in your knees. Inhale, left elbow up towards the sky. Gaze follows. Exhale back down. 
left toes point out. Inhale, right elbow pulls back. Feel open through the shoulder. Exhale, down Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, plant your hands. Step back, downward dog. Inhale, step your right foot underneath your body and plant all ten toes towards the back diagonal corner of the mat. Hug your hips off the mat. Inhale, reach left arm overhead. And come to a crab press here. Good. Exhale, lower. Three more. Inhale, press. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press. Last one. Lift your back pockets up towards the sky. Good. Exhale, left hand plants. Right leg scoops back underneath your body. And back to downward facing dog. Other side. Right heel swivels down. Left leg fishes underneath your body. Toes are diagonally towards the back corner of the mat. Hips hover. Inhale, reach and press. Exhale, lower. Engage the back body to open up the front body. Release down. Two more. Last one. Look over your left shoulder. Good. Plant right hand. Downward facing dog. Breathe here. Good. Now we're going to try to do a pulse from down dog to an up dog pulse. So instead of a wave, we're going to do those more fascial rebounding movements. So maybe watch me for a round or two. You're going to pulse your chest back between your shoulders and then round forward, pulse your hips between your hands. Chest between shoulders, hips between hands. Chest, hips. Opening up the back body and then the front body. Keep your toes tucked the whole time. Let's do about five more reps. Chest bounces back, hips bounce forward. Two more. Feeling really open through the whole body. Good, meet and down dog. And then walk your feet to the top of the mat. Right toes point out, hands meet in the middle. Inhale, left elbow opens up to the sky. Your right elbow kind of slides up your shin. Exhale back down. Left toes out to the side. Inhale, open it up. Exhale down. Halfway lift, flat back, long spine, and exhale, plant your hands, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, three-legged dog, reach your right heel high. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip, and plant your right toes behind you, setting up for a wild thing. Press into your points of contact, inhale, hips reach up towards the sky, right arm overhead. Good, right hand down, right knee stays tucked into body. Now send it out to the left as you swivel down onto your left heel. Hips hover off the mat, setting up for a fall on triangle. Inhale, get you there. Open it up. Good. Left hand plants. Roll onto the ball of the left foot. Open it up. Flip your dog. Hover the hips. Inhale, wild thing. Good. Exhale, plant right hand. Swivel on left foot. Send right foot out to the side. On your inhale, press through your right palm. Reach left arm overhead. Good. One more of each. Draw right knee in towards body. Flip your dog over. Hover the hips. Inhale, wide thing. Exhale, curl right knee to chest. And send it out to this side. Left heel drops. Inhale, fall in triangle. Beautiful. Downward facing dog. Good. Other side. Three-legged dog, left heel hip lifts. Bend your knee, open your hip, flip your dog over. So left toes, plant behind you, hover the hips off the mat. Inhale, wild thing. Someone is scooping your shoulder blade underneath your heart to lift you higher. Good. Left hand plants, left knee draws in towards body, and then out to the right side as your right heel drops. Inhale, fall in triangle. Right hand can go up to the sky or overhead. Good. Right hand plants. 
Inhale, flip your dog over. Exhale, hover the hips. Breathe in to expand into your wild thing. Breathe out to plant left hand. Send left foot out to the side. Hover your hips. And then inhale, expand. Good, one more of each. Right hand lands. Inhale, flip your dog over. Exhale, hover your hips. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, setting up your fallen triangle. Inhale, gets you there. Good. Two hands, two feet to the mat. Take five breaths to feel into your shape. Now, how does it feel different than before? Hopefully, you feel a lot more open and engaged through the back body, through the shoulders. Three more breaths. Good. Lower your knees to the mat. Walk your hands out long. Keep your hips stacked high. And find puppy pose on the tasana. Any variation that you would like. Resting forehead or chin and chest. Five breaths here. Rolling your outer armpits down. Last breath in. And breath out. Nice work. You can stay longer. You can revisit any of those stretches, but hope you like the downward dog based class. Um, lots of opening through the back body, the front of the hips, and then also the shoulders and lats. Um, and just hopefully a little bit of fun as well, bouncing around, why not? If you liked it, please share it with others. Like the video, comment anything below, and then subscribe so you see the next one. And I'll see you then, thank you guys.